Lily Vandenbosch just started her first year of college at Davenport, and unlike a number of her peers, she already knows exactly what she wants to do with her life. She's working to become a nurse practitioner. The reason? At seven years old, she experienced the daunting reality of surviving a rare blood disorder. It feels weird to be back here. Now 18 years old, Lily is flourishing. It's good to be in a better spot now. Yeah. A decade ago, she was here. So I was diagnosed with a severe blood disorder called aplasconemia when I was seven. Her initial deterioration. They didn't know what I had for a couple months, actually. They thought maybe I had leukemia. Marked by bizarre symptoms. I had bloody noses that wouldn't stop. I had bruises and strange places all over. Her eventual diagnosis aplastic anemia. What we know is that for some reason the patient's own immune system starts attacking its own bone marrow. So it's a little bit like an autoimmune disease. And I was really young at the time so I wasn't really sure what that all meant. I just knew that it wasn't good. Lily underwent treatment for years. But sometimes I'd have to go into the bathroom and cry because it was like I mean, we didn't know. It was really touch and go for quite a while. Dr. Uli Duffner from Helen DeVos Children's Hospital describes the rare disease. People become anemic, like hemoglobin, getting more tired, platelets will be low, there will be bleeding signs, and white blood cells, if they get below critical number, your risk for serious infection just gets higher and higher. Still so young, Lily became deeply absorbed in her own recovery. I'd asked so many questions. I wanted to know like what kind of treatment I was getting and what the medications were doing for me. Doctors decided a bone marrow transplant was her best hope. So I was in the hospital for like 50 days straight, just waiting for it to be okay for me to finally go home. She would go into remission. It seems like another lifetime ago. But would still return to Helen DeVos for checkups. Just walking the bridge and coming here to the lobby, like that brings back a lot of memories. The smell of the soap, the smell of the food, um, the sound of the elevators. <laughs> They bring back a lot of memories. Today, she's eager to bring things full circle. If I hadn't gone through what I had gone through, I wouldn't know what I wanted to do with my life. Aspiring to work as a nurse practitioner at the very hospital where she received life-changing care as a child. Good to see you. Thank you. Hoping that the familiar faces who cared for her during her darkest days become colleagues. I think it might be a little bit challenging at first, but I think that'll really turn into fuel for me to really help them in the best way that I can and be there and relate to them. Lily encourages everyone to consider signing up as a bone marrow donor, emphasizing that a diverse range of genetic backgrounds among donors is crucial, increasing the likelihood that patients from various ethnic and racial backgrounds will find compatible donors. In the studio, Michael Martin, Fox 17 News.